Hey guys, first I want to say thank you to Gene for buying me a cup of coffee. I uh, recently signed up for a website kind of like the Patreon, but it's more of a um, buy me a cup of coffee. So, Gene, thank you very much, bought me a cup of coffee. Thank you very much for doing that. And uh, maybe I'm going to encourage other people to uh, buy me a cup of coffee too. So, uh, the link will be below. And uh, yeah. So next I want to say thank you to Nelson Pass. There's been a lot of projects back there because of uh, what Nelson has contributed to the DIY community. And I see that he's very active on DIY Audio. Has been that way for, I'm going to say 20 years now because I've been a member on there. Not currently right now, but uh, I have been a member. And uh, thanks to him, that over there, right there is a elf monster and it looks like this went on a PCB actually what well, I'll grab a PCB this right here is the PCB so you guys can see it and I've been working with Gareth Roberts from Australia for the last many months we've been contemplating back and forth back and forth with the doing the idea and uh, we both jumped on to DigiKey there and um, Bought some output transistors, to be exact. These ones right here. I still got two more. They are the IXFN devices, and they work great. They get hot. Very hot. And uh, so I sent a message over to Nelson saying, Hey, you know, I see that your XA25 uses these devices, but pretty sure that his device uses an N and a P together. Ours only uses N, which is fine. Uh, and Nelson's not going to give out the XA25 um, schematic, so I'm not even asking him for it. I may reach out to him soon and say, hey, instead of using the ELF modified circuit that we have, that me and Gareth have been working on, I'll send him the schematic and say, hey, can you uh, maybe wink, wink, nudge, nudge, give me some ideas to make it improved better or give me a schematic that you would recommend and then I go from there. But anyways, Part of my video now is I will soon have two Elf Monster Mega amplifiers working. Yesterday I spent the day working on it, getting it up and working. Had an issue with some diodes that I had in a bag that were untested, which caused me full DC rail voltage and lost some more hair. Yep. Uh, going from testing the IRF 9610s to the outputs, thinking I blew them up or something. And uh, yeah, but I didn't. Last night I got it up and running. It's pulling a lot of current because it's got high bias. I got it to about 100 watts just before clipping at the positive sine wave. And I believe I could fix that by giving a little bit more positive bias. Um, the whole go goal was to get more than 50 watts and I pretty much doubled that. So the amplifier is working. Um, next video I'm going to show... Um, some measurements of the rail voltage, um, it clipping, what it's doing, better pictures, uh, a little more detail of what we've got going on here. And then after that, I'm going to use up there in the top there, you'll see I got a QA401. I'm going to strap to that guy and see how good we can get it. Um, but yeah, I've got two of these massive heat tunnels. They're... I don't have a ruler on my desk or a measuring tape, but I believe they're about 8x8. Eight eight. And I've got an IFX device on each side. IFX? IXF. I'm going to keep saying that wrong for a long time now. Anyways, i got a device on either side with a fan in the bottom. Over there is its setup, and it's pushing air through it. Last night I was running it for about 15 minutes, and yeah, it was really hot. Didn't have the fan at um, a good speed. I was trying to keep it quiet because when you're powering up an amplifier, you want to hear if there's any magic smoke about to be released so I can hit the off button and uh, go from there. But uh, it's working. I'm very happy and uh, pretty excited. The original board that I was using was a L2 board that I've had for a while. And I just couldn't get past 14 volts AC before it was just hard clipping. It was really, really bad. And I said to myself... 
and Gareth as I was working on it because this was just going to be a test board, I give up. So I got um, the Gerbers from Gareth, ordered myself a handful of these boards, slapped one together last night after all the troubleshooting, got it working. So yeah, just a quick update. Um, the next couple days, I'm hoping to do the measurements. And I don't know if you can see it right now, but I'll, maybe I'll bring this over here and show you here. This way, you'll see that I have a board that it sits on. These are, I'm going to build two of these. I actually have another one right here. They're two chassis. I'm going to use them as open uh, design chassis. Underneath here, there's a fan. There's a transformer there, the power supply. That's all going to go on the side of the power supply on this chassis right here. Just testing it right now, so I have to have it open and on my bench here to do all my testing with all the equipment and stuff. So I'm hoping to build two of these with the uh, chassis and open to be used for listening. So stay tuned. Hopefully I have some measurements pretty quick here. And uh, thank you very much for Nelson Pass. You sure are doing really well helping us out in the community. I don't know what we would do without you. And uh, you guys all have a great day. Maybe somebody else will buy me another cup of coffee. Have a good day.